All right, Big Daddy, it's a different video today. I have a lot of these CPU mining rigs, which uh, I no longer use because CPU mining has become non-profitable based on, you know, hash rate, electrical costs, and just time, just time to maintain this crap. So anyway, I'm selling these. I did sell one already. I'm selling the complete unit minus the solid state hard drive, which had Windows, um, I don't know which Windows something on it. Windows 10. Yeah, Windows 10 was on it. But uh, here is the dongle for that. I had it plugged into here. And uh, right here was where the solid state, the Kingston 128 gigabyte drive was installed, which had Windows 10. I'm not giving that because that has too much personal information, private information on it. You all can, um, people whoever buy this can just put their own drive on it and go to town. I did have, uh, I might have had some GPUs off of these as well. So sometimes when you do buy a motherboard, it is probably best to clear the CMOS. This one right here, if you look, see that? It's upside down. It says clear, CLR, CMOS. And that, you can push that down, hold that when the power's off and it'll uh, clear the CMOS for you. Or you can pop out this little battery right here. Uh, I'm trying to see what it is. It's hard to see with the glare, but you pop out this little circle battery for a minute or two, leave it out, and then It'll also clear the uh, CMOS. And then what that does, it basically puts the BIOS back, removes your settings, puts it back to factory. This is an X, everything's upside down here. I don't want to turn it. Anyway, MSI X470 Gaming Plus Max. I love these motherboards. There's a 570 out. I have a couple of those, but I like these. These also come with two sticks. I got two sticks of DDR4 mem, uh, eight gigs each. Boom, right into two slots. So 16 gigs. That's all I needed for a um, CPU rig. And even a gaming rig is fine. So the juice of this puppy here, other than the great motherboard, is this. This is an AMD Ryzen 9. This is a Prism Kohler. It does have LEDs on it, so if you're into that. And what that means is right here, there's two cables to this Kohler. And you plug them into these USB ports right here. Here's one, and here's uh, JRGBT, JRGB2, what are they, I didn't say USB, I meant RGB ports. Let's see if I pull that out. Oh, this says USB, I'm right. So USB, boom, put that in here. And then I put this one right here. It's a uh, different, can you focus? It won't focus. Different plug, four prong. This goes into the J right there. It goes into the JRGBT2 if I don't mess this up. Dude. <laughs> it's not that easy with holding a camera. Oh, how embarrassing. Do -do 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 -do. Well, that was painfully hard. And then uh, this is your USB to the cooler. That's the juice of this puppy. Ryzen 9, I think 3600 or something like that. Were expensive when I bought them, but now, of course, the new CPUs, these aren't as ex expensive. Uh, like I said, got the memory. We got the CPU. Uh, I got a little switch here onto, onto the uh, pins right here. This is the power. Boom, and then you can power off too by holding it. I got sick of always trying to, you know, just jumping it with the pin, shortening it out. This is good. Always learn your jumpers. They're not that difficult. Like I said, you got the clear CMOS. You got your uh, power reset, and um, there's a horn one. What do you call it? A speaker one. You can put a little speaker on here to hear the beep, beep, beep. Because sometimes with the BIOS and a motherboard, you want to hear any beeping issues if it doesn't come up right away. And that's why I always say clear the CMOS out. And then um, with this CPU, there is no integrated graphics. So you can't just put, whoops, you just can't put a USB in here and see it on your display. When you power up the BIOS, you have to have a GPU. So know that with AMD Intels and some AMDs, uh, they do have integrated graphics. And that just allows you to go right into the motherboard USB port or a USB, sorry, man, what am I saying? HDMI port right here, and then you could hook a monitor to that, and when you boot up, 
even without a mother, even without a uh, hard drive OS on it, you can boot up the motherboard with an HDMI if the CPU on board has integrated graphics. So I'm just looking around here, seeing what we see. And uh, yeah, there you go. So what else? Oh, also on this, I do have a 750 bronze value power supply. Dusty, dusty. You know, computers get dusty. Just normal. With uh, putting in the um, power cord as well. So this thing's all ready to go minus the uh, hard drive. I'm putting these on an eBay. So if you want to go look at them. I'm going to just price them in the cell just to get rid of them because I don't want to throw them out. No one's going to take them, and I don't feel like building, putting these in a hard case and selling them. That's just too much work because I can't, you know, I just don't want to do that. Just take these. People that know what they're doing, boom, you're ready to roll. Uh, you can slap a GPU on this, put a hard drive, and you got a gaming machine. You know, I, I'm keeping one of these for myself because I want to have a gamer, uh, you know, play uh, modern, what is it? I even forget the name of it, Modern Warfare and uh, some flight sims. So I'll keep one for that. I just got to get an AMD, probably get an AMD 6600 and put in here and uh, for myself and just to keep one of these. Maybe load it out with memory too. get like um, 32, just for my personal use. But these are the pretty much the standard ones I'm going to dump. AMD uh, Ryzen 9s, MSI X470 A Gaming Plus. And it's all there is to a computer and other than cooling, but you got your CPU fan. So boom, you're head of the game. All right, what do you guys think? Oh, I'm going to also throw in cat cable because uh, nothing beats being, oh, where is it? Right here. Nothing beats being directly connected to a gig switch versus Wi-Fi uh, for performance. And that's why for mining and gaming and even stocks, you know, if you're getting updated stuff, it's just that little milli, milli, millisecond. Uh, so much better than Wi-Fi. Uh, so there you go. That's what I'm, that's what I'm up to lady. Not much going, else going on. Uh, watching some stocks, watching my yield max funds. Uh, crash is not doing too good for me, but, uh, dividends were lower half this month. So I might eventually take crash and dump it and roll whatever's left over into Misty. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right. That's all I got. Go forth. Do great things. What are you guys up to? Let me know. And I'll talk to y'all later. See ya. Boom.